Good day ladies and gentlemen. The topic of my presentation is the mining and geometrical methodology for estimating of mineral deposits. The purpose of my talk is to illustrate this question. Of particular importance for ore deposits is the geometrization of the quality and physical and chemical properties of rocks and minerals, which is one of the most important tasks of a mining enterprise. The graphic analytical method allows you to establish the distribution of the content and create a spatial model of the deposit in order to determine the relationship between the components. The development of a deposit requires significant costs, and their effectiveness directly depends on the completeness and quality of information about deposits, their composition, the presence of minerals and, directly, mineral reserves. These problems can be solved on the basis of a set of studies aimed at geometrization, statistical evaluation of the deposit, and modeling and monitoring of its shape, properties, and volumes. The aim of the study is a geological and industrial assessment of a mineral deposit, which provides for the correct determination of the quantity and quality of explored reserves, requires the collection and processing of such material, which would be sufficient to draw up a technically correct and economically feasible project for the development of the deposit. The task of geometrization of the mineral deposit is to obtain information about the deposits and its systematization in order to further its practical application and solve the problems of mining. One of the applications of geometrization is the estimation of mineral reserves. This necessitates the creation of a set of methods that will allow to perform with maximum efficiency the calculation of reserves of the mining enterprise. Geometrization for the purpose of calculating mineral reserves can be carried out using geoinformation systems. Consider the Micromine Geoinformation System. As an example of deposit geometry, we take the results of calculating the balance reserves of ilmenite berzulof deposit in the program. The calculation of ilmenite reserves in the berzulof deposit was performed using the Micromine system using the block modeling method, which is one of the most modern and objective methods of estimating the resources and reserves of minerals used worldwide. A project based on the Berzulov deposit database has been created to calculate stocks in the Micromine environment. It consists of two files, collar.dat, figure 1, figure 2, which contains information on wells and assay.dat, figure 3, which contains information on samples. In addition, included graphic materials of the preliminary calculation of reserves, namely, the plan of calculation of reserves by the coordinate reference, figure 4. Due to this, if necessary, the results obtained in the process can be easily compared by overlapping and comparing. At the first stage of work with the database, a statistical analysis of the distribution of values of ilmenite content of Berzulov deposit was performed. The distribution in the samples is estimated as bimodal log normal, figure 5. The bimodal distribution of a component in the geological sense is usually explained by two different geological processes, or two different stages of one process. In the case of the Berzulov deposit, it seems that first an ore stratum was formed with the primary distribution of ilmenite in it, and then the ore component was redistributed within the stratum, most likely under the influence of gravitational factors. This is evidenced by the increased values of ilmenite content in the lower part of the thickness, closer to the sole is the roof of the weathering crust. The results of logarithmic statistics are used for the lognormically distributed value. According to the three sigma rule, all values of a normally distributed random variable lie within three sigma. For the lognormal distribution, the same applies to the logarithms of these quantities. The values of the original sample for the Berzulov deposit there are no ones that do not obey the laws of a certain distribution. Based on the performed calculations, it was decided not to exclude the maximum values of ilmenite contents when calculating reserves. Further, based on the test results, composites, combined intervals, 
were created according to the ilmenite content in separate samples according to economically justified conditions. In addition, the concept of metro percentage. This is a product of the content of the useful component and the capacity of the ore layer. The metro percentage is used to account for intervals with a relatively low content of a useful component with a large deposit thickness, or with a low deposit thickness with a very high content of a useful component. With the use of composites on each of the sections outline the roof and sole of the mineral deposit, figure 6, figure 7. Using the function to create digital models of surfaces, roof contours, and soles of the sections are combined into two surfaces, the roof surface and the sole surface. In the future, they turn into a framework that limits the mineral on all sides, figure 8. The framework does not include the area of off-balance sheet stocks, limited by the balance off-balance limit using the polyline line trimming function. An empty block model is created within the obtained framework. The shape of the elementary, single, block of the block model is determined by the shape of the placer, or thickness. The Berzulov deposit is characterized by low capacity compared to the area of distribution. According to the available materials, there is no obvious elongated shape in the plan in any of the directions. Therefore, the most optimal shape with a ratio of length, width, and power 10 times 10 times 1 meter. The size of the elementary, single, block, sub-block, of the block model is determined taking into account two main factors. First, there is no need to make the single unit less than the selected mining technology provides selective mining. Secondly, the unit block must be small enough to accurately describe the configuration of the ore thickness surfaces. The size of single blocks of 10 times 10 times 1 meter and sub blocks of 2 times 2 times 0.2 meter was chosen for the block model of the Berzulov deposit. The created model is filled with interpolated values of ilmenite content by the method of inverse distances using the 3D estimation of blocks function, figure 9. The interpolation occurs in several stages, each of which corresponds to a certain category of reserves, B, C1, C2. One of the important parameters of interpolation is the size of the search ellipse, they increase from the highest category of reserves to the lowest and are based on the reasonable parameters of a drilling network, 100 times 40 meter, 200 times 60 meter, 400 times 80 meter, respectively. To delineate the reserves of different classes and categories, closed contours were created that limit the areas of different degrees of study, figure 10. As a result, a block model of the deposit was obtained, which reflects the distribution of ilmenite. It should be noted that the model allows not only to more accurately estimate reserves and other parameters of the deposit, but also to quickly decide on the direction of extraction work depending on the market situation of ilmenite concentrate or other factors. By assigning category contour indices to each of the blocks, all stocks of the block model were divided into corresponding classes, categories. As a result of creating a report on the block model, the distribution of ilmenite reserves was obtained. The total amount of balance reserves, B plus C1 plus C2, of ilmenite of the Berzulov deposit amounted to 4,526,000 tons. The error in calculating inventories was 8.3%. The solution of the actual scientific and technical problem of geometrization of the reserves of the mining enterprise, aimed at ensuring the process of mining production, was shown. The set of considered methods is practically applicable, and the researches directed on its improvement are very prospective. Well that's it from me. Thanks very much.